Hello guys and welcome to the Tactic YouTube channel. This is our first video unboxing and video in general. So if you have any complaints on audio, I know it's pretty low, but I'm going to boost it up in post and afterwards maybe uh, get a new mic or something like that. So don't you worry, I will oh, look at the fly. I will make it work for you later. As you can see, I'm holding in my hand a new product from Logitech G series of gaming peripherals, and in this case, it's a wireless mouse. The G602 is not a successor of the current G700S, but rather a completely new product for itself, but more on that later. Going around the box, you can see some of the specification laid out, as well as one more picture of G602 in a different angle. Opening the box you find the text that Logitech put on which reveals what this mouse is all about. The G602 is meant to combine best from both worlds, durability and much longer battery life with gaming performance. A bit different philosophy comparing to the G700 and G700S. Although the G602 is only the second wireless mouse in Logitech's G gaming series, it has brought quite a changes to the table of gaming wireless mice. Going further into the package, I really like this new design boxes from Logitech. It's much easier to pull out the product. You will find the best part of any product, of course, that's the instruction manuals. Extended cord for the nano receiver. Nano receiver itself. And of course, the G602 mouse. Logitech really put some effort in designing the G602. It feels really good in hands as it grips around it completely and seamlessly. You can see that my middle finger is resting on this little extended place or as normal people would call it the right click button it's a bit longer than usual but it's a pretty clever and simple ergonomic solution as for comfort and size it's right on the spot for me I have medium to large size hands but I can see it fit for almost anybody Decides also remind me of my current mouse which I have for over 5 years now the Logitech G9 the build quality is also great you can clearly see and feel rubberized plastic around the housing uh, as well as quality plastic with a hint of glossy pattern over here Coming on to the clickable goodies, you can see plenty of G programmable buttons, buttons, especially on the left side of the left thumb side. Uh, there's exactly 11 of them, with the use of the right, left, and middle click. These thumb ones are not that much in your way, but still very accessible and useful. On the top of them you will find the DPI indicator, you can see it over here. DPI is changed by default with these two G10 and G11 buttons, you can see it, I'm changing it. All the buttons are somewhat programmable with the Logitech Gaming software, but since we touched the topic of software, the G602 is supported both by Windows and Mac OS X. Mm, fun fact guys, and a specification fact from Logitech, uh, these buttons can and will withstand up to 20 million clicks. So start counting. One, two, okay, stop it. Unfortunately, G602 is left out of the, of the left and right side click from the scroll wheel. The outsider to all of this is the switch just below the scroll wheel. It has two modes, endurance and performance that light up accordingly. Green is endurance, blue is performance. 
I think that red would fit better for performance. Hm, don't you think? Presumably endurance mode dumbs down the senses of the laser, so to speak, as well as the amount of the communication with the computer and receiver, which preserves energy. Turning around the mouse, we are greeted by the Logitech Delta Zero technology laser, which is capable of 250 to 2500 range of DPI. Just above that, there's a classic on and off switch, and below it and below the laser, there's a hood with a secret compartment for the nano receiver and two non rechargeable AA batteries. Maybe you're wondering why a Logitech didn't make this model with an alternative wired solution as the G700 has it. Well, to be true, I understand their point of view here since they don't need to be recharged that often since they can work over 1400 hours in endurance mode. The unique feature about this model is it can work with only one battery. As you can see here, it's still working by doing a simple math you can calculate that you can get a half of the battery endurance with one battery the low friction Teflon feet you can see it here are tested to last over 250 kilometers of dragging over the mouse pad or in large text scenario it was a uh, wood testing on wood so it can be even more on much gentle mouse pads so you're probably wondering about the price of this product but let me conclude this preview with it the suggested price for Logitech G602 moves around 80 dollars for US or 80 euros in case of the Europe I would say that's a pretty reasonable price for a product like this that's all for now guys, once again thank you for checking out our unboxing and preview of the new Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse, hope you like it, give us a thumbs up and of course click that subscribe button to the tech channel for more tech videos like this, later.